more fun games than movies. This is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Subscriptions are a huge boost. Hi, I'm Jess Finster, Community Director at Bethesda, and I'm here today at Bethesda Game Studios to talk to you all about the next update coming to Starfield. The team has been hard at work, so let's go chat with them to see what they've been working on. So with update four on the horizon, what are some of the new uh, features that players have to look forward to? So we see a lot of feedback online that players really want a lot more utility and detail in our surface maps. So we took what's there, we blew it all up, and instead now we have a whole new aesthetic to the surface maps where you can see the terrain, all the detail on the terrain, trees, rocks, all the structures in the loaded zone. It's a lot easier to navigate. We've also made it easier to get around the cities. Um, you can see markers for all the shops, the enhanced boutiques, restaurants, you name it, it's all there. It's a lot easier to get around now. With Update 4, we're also adding a bunch of gameplay options. So for that, players can really tune their experience how they prefer. Uh, we're adjusting things like capacity of vendor credits, the actual carry weight. Additionally, uh, affects to difficulty. So some of those, depending on how you play, you can actually tune to be like space combat more difficult or gun combat less difficult. It's really up to you. And depending on how you balance them, it'll change how you get XP. That's awesome. So you're really upping the ante for players that want an even bigger challenge. Yeah, and with that, we actually are adding what's called the extreme difficulty. It sits above very hard, and it really, really makes you pay attention, especially for the higher level characters. How about ship customization? I know players are really capitalizing on all of the ship content in the game, and we've seen some really crazy stuff out there that I'm sure you guys have seen as well. But are you adding anything more to the ship customization? Yeah, so people love to customize their ships. Like there are some of the builds out there are just mind blowing, some beautiful, beautiful stuff. So now we're turning our attention to the inside of the ships. So we're adding a decorate mode where you can go and fully furnish and customize the interior layout of the ships, um, place the furniture, decorations, basically everything you can do in outpost mode. We can now do that in the ship and it's saved and you can do that to your entire fleet. In addition to decorate mode, we're also offering a whole new set of empty habs so basically, instead of pre-cluttered habs in the ship builder, we'll have a new set where there's no furniture, there's no decoration, nothing. It's a total blank slate, so players can just kind of fill it up with their own stuff. That's amazing. They'll really get to emulate whatever their personality showcases outside on the inside. Though. Yeah, exactly. New Game Plus. Is there anything being added to this update that helps the players after they've completed the campaign to return to the game? Yeah, so if you're like me and you find your, the more you go through the Unity, the more you become the hunter, the one thing I want to do is be able to respect my traits. So we're adding that. So in case you're getting tired of wanted or want to change your alien DNA and you really want that new dream home experience, you get to choose that when going through the Unity. In addition, you'll be able to rechange your appearance. Really living that next second life, huh? Exactly. Awesome. Is there anything else that you guys want to share about this update that players have to look forward to? I mean, you've already shared a lot as it is. We're focusing now on our Xbox Series X players with this update. We're giving them some settings where they can help prioritize between performance or visual. If they choose to prioritize performance, the target FPS will move to 60. And for players that have TVs that support VRR, they'll be able to choose between VRR 40 or VRR 60. In addition to the, um, the new features we just talked about, um, there are a couple of uh, quality of life updates that we're introducing. One of them is you can now toggle dialogue cameras off. So instead of getting that sort of focus zoom in on whatever NPC you're talking to, it just stays in normal default camera mode. It's a little more immersive that way. Some players may prefer that. Love it. In addition to that, we're making the container and barter menus a bit more usable. We've added some tabs along the top, so it's easier to sort of see what container or what inventory you're looking at, whether it's yourself or your ship. Um, and it's just easier to navigate. Uh, basically, inventory and item management, it's a small thing, but it actually, I think, makes it a lot nicer. So Tim, we just talked to Joe and Eastvon a little bit about Update 4 and what's coming, but is there anything else that you want to talk about that's down the horizon? So the team is working on our first land vehicle, so you can drive around on planets. 
Obviously we're working on more quests and the massive Shattered Space expansion. That's all very exciting. What about creations? Anything you can share there? I think we mentioned it earlier this year, but we've sent out our beta toolkit to verified creators. So hopefully more information on that soon. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Tim. Hey, no problem, Jess. That's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining us and for your continued feedback. Just a reminder, the update is available on Steam Beta today and will be available on all platforms later this month. So we'll see you in the stars. Mm -hmm.